This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight it's girls action as the Athol Red Raiders come to Goodnote Gymnasium to take on the Frontier Lady Red Hawks. Hi again everyone, this is Chris Collins along with Zach Lino, Alec Echo, Josh Levine, and Kevin Murphy. Court side at Goodnote as tonight the 5-4 Athol Red Raiders come in looking for their first win in Franklin County League play. They are 0-3 in the league. The Frontier Red Hawks come in at a 500 record, 3-3 three three overall, 1-1 one one in Franklin County League play. Athlock comes in with a number of starters that are varsity experienced seniors like Taylor Cleveland, also Haley Bigwood, Jenna St. Cyr, and Sophie Putnam, to name just a few. And the Frontier Red Hawks coming off a pretty good performance where their defense shine. They're going to need every bit of that defense tonight against an experienced Athol team that's coming looking for their first win in the league. Let's go down to the floor for the starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional High School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Red Raiders from Athol. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to the game and to the student to the game. The, the students participating in tonight's game are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. And now for the science starting lineup. For our goal, number 14, guard, Tennis and Sear. Number five, guard, Kendall DeLeo. Number three, center, Rosalind Nelson. Number four, forward, Taylor Cleveland. Number 21, forward, Emma Pascalupo. And always coached by Kelly Kazmazi. And now for the Frontier Red Hawks. And God, I'm not tell you the number, but it's not written down. Marie Demon. Megan Self. At center. Amelia Sobieski. At forward. Rebecca Burwell. And forward, Caitlin Mackin. And the by David John. Tonight's referees are John Patala and Matt Bell. Please stand for the uh, next land. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. 
Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Okay, <clears throat> we're set to go. Interesting uh, starting lineup for the Frontier Redhawks. You've got Megan Self and Marie Demon in the backcourt with Mackin, Sobieski, and Bridwell getting the start. And uh, so it looks like the uh, Raiders, or the Redhawks rather, are going with a little bit of a, of a taller lineup to start off against the relatively short Athol Red Raiders. So we'll see if that makes a difference in the start of this game. Of course, Demon was the star of the game in the last yeah. broadcast we did. She was fantastic. It'll be interesting to see how Frontier utilizes that uh, starting height here in the beginning minutes. Sierra Warren, who typically runs the point, is kind of come off the bench tonight. So I would think Demon will run the point, as she did the other night. <clears throat> and I would expect that press to be in, in effect if, if the game plan is similar to the one the other evening. <clears throat> it's going to be Sobieski <clears throat> jumping center against Rosalind Nelson for the Raiders. Eight-minute quarters, and we are underway here from Goodnow. Tip goes to the floor and battle for it early. And quick held ball. Possession arrow is going to favor. They're going to jump it again, I guess. <laughs> Not, nobody got a clear possession of it, so they'll just do it again. Sobieski. And the tip is controlled by Frontier. Demon now with it. Runs cross court to Megan Self on the baseline. Oh, that's jump. too easy. Beautiful shot there. Two points for Megan Self to start this game. Jenna St. Cyr with the ball now hands it off to Taylor Cleveland. Cleveland feeds it right side, now gets it back. Taylor hands it off to St. Cyr. Back to Cleveland. They feed the baseline. Turnaround jumper is no good. It's an air ball. It's still going to be half all ball, but only nine seconds to shoot. Frontier utilizing some nice defense here early. St. Cyr to throw it in. She's got Bascalupo out there, running out of a stack. And DeLeo is out there on an off guard. Quick jumper is an air ball, and a rebound pulled down by Sobieski. Amelia looking for some help, and here comes Megan Self. Crossing the timeline, Megan goes left side to Demon. Back to Megan in the middle, a little give and go, and a tie-up possession arrow favors Athol. I'm surprised that the Raiders have a press frontier here with their well, guard set up. There's plenty of time for that, but now that now there's a press, just as you say it, and they lob it up ahead to Bascalupo, so Athol breaks it. Cross court. Catch and shoot jumper is an air ball. Put back up, no good. Rebound by Mackin. Caitlin runs it up. Coast to coast, lays it up and in. There you go. Quick 4 0 run for Frontier. 6.37 to go, first quarter. And again, some more backcourt pressure. Ooh, very nearly an over and back. No yeah. call there. Cleveland now with it at the rings. Cleveland gets a pick, runs right side. Cleveland. St. Cyr, back to Cleveland, trying to feed the baseline, out of bounds, unforced error, we're going the other way. Frontier trying to take control of the tumble here early. And they appear to have uh, just one step on Athol right now. Self inbounds to Demon. Marie runs it up. Goes left side. Now back over to Self. Self tried to feed the baseline over the head of Demon, and we're going the other way. Cleveland inbounds to DeLeo. They throw it up ahead, and... Foul on Sobieski? Yeah, it looks like Amelia might have got a hand check. And they're going to throw it in under the Athol basket. That's her first, team's first. St. Cyr to throw it in for the Raiders. Finds Cleveland on the baseline. Jumper, side of the iron, no good. Rebound controlled by Frontier. Here comes Demon. Demon to Self, lays it up, and in. 6 nothing Frontier. So all Red Hawks so far. 
They lob it up ahead. A little bit discombobulated are the Raiders. Yeah. They seem to be rushing it. St. Sears jumper spins out. Rebound, controlled by Athol. Nice Fall. defense there by Frontier. Good D. Outlet pass to Megan Self. Self, one on three break, goes Coast strong. to coast, in the contact. Count it and one for Megan Self, who's got six points with a chance for seven. And it's been all Red Hawks early on. Quick substitution, and it's going to be Bridwell out and Sierra Warren checking in. So a three-guard offense in there right now for Frontier. Self misses the free throw. Warren gets the rebound, though. Deep rebound. Back out to Mackin. To Megan. Megan to Mackin. Feeds the paint. Lays it up and in. There you go. That's a nice play right there. Hawks all over the Red Raiders. 10-0. Now there's the trap in the backcourt. Cleveland trying to get away from it. Lobs it up ahead. Out. Tip by Sobieski. Yep, yeah, they're going to say it was off Sobieski, so it's going to be off all ball. But they wasted nine seconds trying to get that ball over the timeline. I mean, why not use the trap? It worked last time beautifully in their last home game. Well, that, that's what they just did, and it worked pretty well. Cleveland to throw it in. She does to St. Cyr. St. Cyr to Cleveland. And a hand check foul is going to be called. On Kaylin Mackin? Yep, I think it's going to be on Kaylin. Yep. Her first team second, non-shooting. And Cleveland to throw it in for Athol. Into DeLeo. DeLeo with it now. It's a screen, hard screen. Cleveland jumper from the elbow. Fouled. And fouled in the act. So it, they're gonna, it's going to be two shots. It's going to be the second foul on Caitlin. So they're going to have to get her out of there. And Taylor Cleveland will go to the line. Trying to get the first points of the game for Athol. First one goes. Mackett out and checking in is Kylie LaFord for Frontier. Second shot is good. So Cleveland makes them both. 10-2, that breaks a long 10-0 run, and it's the first points three minutes into this thing for Athol. Warren to Sobieski. Sobieski off the glass and in. Nicely done by Amelia, just absolutely perfectly placed. Now more backcourt Still pressure. there. And a travel is called, so LaFord was going after the ball and just took an extra step. 4.30 down to go first quarter, 10-point lead for Frontier, their largest. Cleveland lobs it ahead to Bascalupo. Puts it up, no good. Sobieski the rebound. Fast break frontier. Mackin to Self. Megan to Sierra Warren. Warren feeds the baseline. Back out to Megan. Megan. Nice no-look pass down low to LaFord off of Athol. So Frontier will keep it with 14 seconds to shoot. Megan Self is out. And Elena Mays Pullen is in for Frontier. Quick sub, and we're going to have a quick change here as St. Cyr comes out. And Lily King, excuse me, no, that's uh, Haley Bigwood into the game for her first minutes for Frontier. Back out to Mays Pullen. Mays Pullen, bounce pass to Warren. Runs right side into the corner. It goes working a weave. Mays Pullen top of the key. The Demon, Demon, pull up jumper just inside the arc, rims out, rebound Athol. Quick outlet pass to Bascalupo, Bascalupo lays it up too strong, Bigwood's putback is good. Go. Good job by Haley to trail the play there. Warren now brings it up, crosses half court. Sobieski in the paint, trying to spin around, got fouled, knocked down. Yeah, she got sworn when she went down low. Mm, let's see how they get it. It's going to be the second team foul on Athol and the first on Rosalind Nelson. So Warren to throw it in for Athol, or for Frontier, rather. And Sobieski, Sobieski, kicks it back outside. Cleveland for three. Good! There we go. That was Demon, actually, for three. 15-4. Now put back up and in. 
off the steal, and Athol wants to talk about it. 17-4, Frontier with the lead, 3.33 to go in the first quarter. We come back. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins and Zach Lino out here at Goodno Gymnasium. So far, it's been all Frontier to start this game. 13-point lead, 17-4. And Athol will inbound underneath their own basket as the Raiders have got to get something going here. Cleveland throws it in. Bigwood battle in the back, and it's going to be Athol ball. Frontier using that suffocating full-court press. From bad to worse for Athol here. And Warren to throw it in. For Frontier. Bounce pass to Demon on the baseline. Demon throws it up and in. Demon starting higher tonight. 19-4. Frontier by 15. Mascalupo now with it. Left side to Cleveland. Cleveland runs it cross court. Top of the key. Right side to DeLeo. DeLeo stops. Trying to kick it back over, and a foul as Demon bumped into Haley Bigwood. It's going to be her first foul, team's fourth. Athol inbound underneath the Frontier basket. DeLeo to throw it in for the Red Raiders. Into Bascalupo. And I think someone stepped on the baseline. That's what that was. So Warren to throw it in for Frontier. 3-0-1 to go first quarter. Demon now running the point for the Hawks. Again, ball is tipped away. I think that was an intended pass for Sobieski. It ends up being two points for Athol. Haley, and big one on that score. Yep, Haley. Mays pulling now with it, left side. Running the one-hander in the lane, no good. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Bascalupo now with it to Cleveland. Cleveland. The back Bascalupo down low. Bascalupo off the glass. Get bumped Sounds by Sierra. By Warren, yep. It's going to be Sierra Warren is going to get the call on that one. And it's going to be two shots for Emma Bascalupo. First foul on Warren, team's fifth. That one's an air ball. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Into the game is Gekka Baptiste for Athol, also into the game. For the Red Hawks is Bridwell was a part of the starting lineup, is back into the game now. And Megan Self is back in as well. Second shot is good. So she makes one of two. 19-7, Frontier by 12. Warren now with it. Left side to Megan. Megan to Bridwell. Bridwell, Sobieski to Warren. Jumper from the corner by Megan. Oh, that was good. clean. And that was good for three. So Megan Self has a quick nine. And driving through, foul on the way through. As that was Haley Bigwood driving to the basket, and we'll see who they got. I think they got Megan with that one. Probably. Yep, her first, team sixth. So two shots for Haley Bigwood. High arc is good. She'll get one more. Gets them both. Less than two minutes to go. 21-9 Frontier, and we'll talk it over. We'll take the break. You're listening and watching Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. I'm being told that that last shot by Megan Self was a two-point shot. Frontier inbounds. Less than two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Sierra Warren now with it. Left side to Megan. 
On the left elbow it goes. Self back at it. Runs cross court looking for Warren. Warren tries to feed the paint. Stolen back by Athol. Taylor Cleveland now with it. Cleveland runs it up. He's trying to spin move. Stolen Strip away there. Though. Stobieski was right there. Hands it off to LaFord. Kylie to Megan. Back to LaFord on the right elbow. LaFord's jumper misses. Rebound put back. It's good. Nice play there by Bridwell. Stay with it. That was Bridwell. Her first points the game. So Frontier racking up the points. They're on pace to score almost 90 if they keep going <laughs> this way. Bigwood now with it. Drives the baseline. Kicks it back out to Cleveland for three. Not, didn't go. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Warren spots up for three. Clips the front of the iron. Is that a bounds? That's all ball. 44.7 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The Frontier playing a running gun style offense here. Yeah, they've been playing a lot of up tempo, and it's worked for them so far, and the defense really has held Athol in check. Putnam now with it, pushes it up ahead to Cleveland. Taylor Cleveland, 20 seconds in the shot clock, 34 in the game clock. In the middle of Bigwood. Bigwood, top of the key. Drives left side, puts up the shot. Front of the iron, no good. And rebound pulled down by Frontier. This is LaFord now. LaFord with it. Bounce pass to Warren. Warren on the left elbow. Back in the middle to Megan. Megan drives through. Running jumper in the lane is no good. Warren's put back is no good. Out of bounds. And it's going to be Athol Ball with 3.8 seconds left. It was stolen there by Sobieski. Up ahead it goes, and that is how the first quarter will end. We played one quarter in South Deerfield. At the end of one, it is Frontier 23, Athol 9. Second quarter action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second quarter action upcoming. Chris Collins and Zach Lino here at Goodno Gymnasium. Kylie the Ford inbounding it in front of us for the Frontier Redhawks. To Sierra Warren to start the second quarter. Redhawks really poured it on offensively in that first quarter. Yeah, and that was thanks in large part to Megan Self with eight and Marie Diemel with seven. Turnaround jumper on the baseline is no good. Sierra Warren the rebound. And into Mackin, who's back into the game with the two fouls. And she gets fouled by Haley Bigwood. It's going to be the third team foul for Athol first on Haley. Still not shooting. Sierra to throw it in underneath the basket for Frontier. Lobs it out to Bridwell. Now Mackin with it. Back out to Sierra. Sierra for three. Spins out. Rebound. Mackin off her hand. Out of bounds. Athol will take it back. That was a good luck. Just the wrong result. St. Sierra back into the game. Throws in the inbound pass to Bigwood. Ellie Bigwood runs it up. Tries to go coast to coast. Get bumped on the way through by Sobieski. And that's going to be two on Amelia. And it's going to be a couple of shots for Haley.
Haley Bigwood in her senior year. She's a guard for Athol. Been in that program for quite a while. First shot is good. She'll get one more. She is three for three from the foul line tonight. With a high arcing shot release. <laughs> yeah, really. And make that three for four as the second one misses. Sierra Warren now brings it up for Athol. For Frontier, rather. Warren in the corner. And this is going to be a blocking I foul. got travel there. It looked like a travel, but she got fouled before she took the extra step. Did Mackin, so. Did he get that foul on? We'll post it a second. Demon's back in. And maybe it wasn't a foul. No, it was a foul. They, they just put it up. So it's 14 foul. It's going to be on Cleveland, her first. And they're looking for a throw in. Mackin gets fouled on the way up. She'll go to the line. And she got hit on the way up by Sophie Putnam. Actually, no, they gave it to Cleveland. That's, that's two on her. That's a big deal. She's their point, point guard and arguably one of their best players. Mackin's first shot is good. So Cleveland will step out. Yeah, it's going to force Athol to work some different looks here. And Vascalupo back in for the Red Raiders. Back in second shot. That spins out. And the rebound controlled by Athol. Up ahead to Bigwood. Bigwood. One on two. Shot misses. And she stepped on the baseline, so we're going the other way. And Athol's running very quick possessions here on the offensive end. Well, they got to make up some points here. They're down by 14 in the second quarter. They've only put up nine in the first. Demon now to LaFord. LaFord on a high post. Hands it off to Mackin. <laughs> Caitlin picks it up to Sobieski in the paint. Back out to Demon. Demon drives through in the baseline. Shot misses. Put back is good. I believe that was Mackin that got it. Yep, it was. Staying with it. Baptiste now with it. Bascalupo under the right elbow. Athol trying to get something Assumed happening. The there game. by Demon. Sobieski brings it up. Sobieski lays it up and in. Athol struggling here. The lead is 16 for Frontier. Now going up strong, hitting the side of the backboard was Bascalupo. And rebound picked up by Mackin. Caitlin bringing it up. Has Sobieski on the baseline. Sobieski pull up jumper, misses. But Frontier controls the rebound. Held ball. Possession arrow favors Athol. Some great hustle plays here early by Frontier. Self back in. Checking out is LaFord. The lead is 18. Frontier's largest. 6.02 to go in the half. And Baptiste now with it. Runs it up the right side. Frontier's backed off the press. Baptiste gets it back, throws up a three, back iron no good. Mackin the rebound. Here come the Hawks. Caitlin Mackin off the glass, no good. And we're going the other way as... Over the back? And if that is on Amelia, that's three on her. So we're going to have to get her out of the game. Yep, that's three on Sobieski, so... Frontier's big in foul trouble here. Sobieski is out, and Mays Poland comes back in. The eighth team foul on Frontier, so it's going to be a one and one for Bascalupo. First shot is good. She'll get one more. Emma Bascalupo, a freshman. So she'll be around for a few more years. Second shot is good. She makes them both. 28-12. Frontier by 16. Demon now running the point for the Hawks. Take Mackin. Mackin to Mays Pullen. Mackin gets it back. Back out to Demon. Demon for three. High arcing shot. No good. Just off that time. Frontier's going to keep it, though, as it went off the hands of Jenna St. Cyr. 
So Mays Pullen will inbound with a fresh 30 on the sideline. Frontier running out of a stack. Back out to Demon. To Megan Self. Megan goes cross court to Mackin. Down low. Demon, nice post, moves up and in. That was beautiful. So Marie Demon's having herself a game. She's got nine points already. 30 to 12. 508 to go in the half. St. Cyr now with it. Top of the key. Goes right side, and they lose control of it. Just took her eye off it for a half second. That's all you got to do. A little confusion here. Mackin throws it back to Demon, and the Hawks will take it. Right side to Mays Poland. Mays Poland with it. Top of the key to Bridwell. Back to Mackin. Mackin in the corner. Jumper by Warren goes way over everything. Mackin's rebound goes up for the putback and is fouled. Actually, no, they did not call a foul. I guess it, just, they, I guess it was unforced error. My bad. Looked like they called a foul. Yeah, but I think she might have stepped out of bounds. Baptiste now with it. Kick a Baptiste to Bigwood. Haley trying to spin away from Mackin in all kinds of trouble. Gets it over to the corner. Jumper from the elbow. Banks it off and in. Is that a... That was Baptiste that put that one in off the glass. Megan Self now on the right elbow. Megan, pull up jumper. No good. Air ball. Bow for, for it. it. It's going to be Frontier Basketball with 22 seconds on the shot clock. And Warren is out, and LaFord is back in. So lots of subs coming in and out for Frontier. Fresh legs at all times. Megan Self will inbound. Self lobs it back out, top of the key to Mackin. Mackin in the corner. Jumper is good as it spun in for LaFord. Her first points of the night, 32-14. The lead is 18 for Frontier. Baptiste. Frontier's dominating on both ends here. Nice screen. Bigwood now throws up a wild shot, no good. Self the rebound. More transition basketball for Frontier. Megan tried to go up, got hit. No call. Yeah, that was, I don't know about that one. Megan doesn't like the fact that there was no foul call, and she's got a point. Doesn't matter, though. It's still Frontier basketball. LaFord to throw it in for the Hawks. Throws it back out to Demon. Demon spots up for three. Good! Demon, what a start. 35-14. 21-point lead for Frontier. Baptiste feeds the baseline. Back out to Bigwood. Bigwood, a high arcing shot. That's good for two. And the Hawks are back on the attack again. Caitlin Mackin with it. Mackin back to Demon. In the corner to LaFord. In the corner on the elbow to Megan. Megan in all kinds of trouble. Tries to feed the paint. Possession arrow favors Athol. It's, that was a one on three situation yeah, there. It was a nice trap of, the, of Megan himself there in the corner. So Athol to throw it in. Bigwood to throw it into Baptiste. 3-11 to go in the half. 35-16. Frontier up big. Out in the corner it goes. Jumper, high arcing jumper is an air ball. Rebound Athol. Back out for three. Good. A line, at least there. A line drive three by Baptiste. 35-18. Demon now. Feeds the paint to Mackin. Mackin, post move, and she is fouled on the way up. So Caitlin Mackin will go back to the line. And that foul is going to be on Emma Bascalupo, her first, team's eighth. Mackin's first shot is no good. She'll get one more. And she makes the second one. Kaylin Mackin shoots it pretty good for a big from the line. 36-18, 18 point frontier lead. 2.44 to go. And a pass swatted away by LaFord. 
Baseline jumper is no good. Mack in the rebound. Out of bounds, and it's still Frontier basketball. There's the iconic Frontier defense. Yeah. Absolutely. McAdam will bring it up for the Hawks to Megan. Yeah, we picked off there. And LaFord fouled by Kendall DeLeo. Very uh, aggressive on the defense. Megan checks out. That's her second, by the way, for DeLeo. And we've got a one and one here. As one of the bonus, Kylie LaFord now will shoot. First the sub in. DeLeo will sit down with the two fouls. LaFord's first one is good. She'll get one more. We kind of bounced around up there. Yeah, hit the rim and the backboard. Second one is good. So makes them both. 38-18. Frontier by 20. 2.19 to go in the half. Baptiste runs the right side. Loses control. Gets it back. And just nowhere to go on the baseline. Good no. defense by Sierra Warren. It seems like Athol is just rushing a little bit too much here. I think you're right. I think that they, they've been sort of trying a little bit too hard and trying to get the ball on the baseline a lot and yes, just stepping out of yeah. bounds and getting run off the ball. Well, Warren loses control yeah. of that one. Couldn't quite handle that pass, which was a bit behind her, by the way. This could be the break Athol needs. Big Wood to throw it in for Baptiste. Baptiste spins away from Demon. And on the right elbow, shot hits the side of the backboard, but they're going to draw it. No, actually, they travel or they step on the baseline again. They like to shoot on the wing and the baseline, and they've been stepping on the line like crazy tonight. Demon with it now. In the corner, it goes to LaFord. LaFord spots up for three over everything. And the rebound controlled by Athol. Here's Haley Bigwood. Pulls back on the elbow. Bigwood looking to feed Baptiste. Tough contact there. A lot of contact. And a travel. <laughs> so the ref's letting them play a little bit here. There have been a couple of hard hits with nothing to show for it in terms of fouls. Demon now has it. Goes left side. Pick and roll to Demon. Now back to Mack, and Mackin goes straight at the bucket. No good. Oh. Gets her own rebound. Kicks it back out. Sierra Warren spots up for three. No good. And Mackin gets the rebound. Frontier kind of owning the glass here. And she ran over Haley yeah. Bigwood. Out of bounds. Frontier will keep it with 28 seconds on the shot clock. 1.13 to go on the game clock. Sub. And they're going to bring in a sub. This is going to be Sydney Taylor. Yep. Sydney Taylor. Yep. Number 32. And Mackin is out. You throw it back out top of the key. Warren gets it down on the elbow. And Mackin through the hands. A little bit of butterfingers there. Of Bridwell. Frontier will keep it, though. Warren throws in to Mackin. Caitlin back over to Sierra. To the four at the top of the key. Over to Sid. To Warren. Warren on the baseline it goes. Back to Sierra on the elbow. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Demon just inside the arc. No good. Out of bounds, and we're going the other way with Athol. 46.2 seconds left in the half, and it's a 20-point Frontier lead, 38-18. Yeah, Athol did a nice job there just sealing off the interior. Baptiste up ahead to Bigwood. Back to Baptiste, and the corner it goes to St. Cyr. Baptiste runs it right side, hands it off to Haley. Haley pulls it back and loses control. A foul. On it's going to be on Demon. And that's two on her. Ninth team foul. So we are going to shoot a one and one. Demon will step out, probably for the remainder of the half. 
with that second foul. And Haley, first shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bridwell to Warren. Shot and game clock almost five seconds difference. Actually, almost pretty close. Shot doesn't go. Rebound, Bigwood. Athol pushing the pace here. Bounce pass to Nelson. Shot misses. Put back is good, though, as Bigwood got the rebound. Seven seconds left. Bounce pass on the baseline. Put up. No good. No good. And that will do it in the half. We have played one half of basketball from Good Doe Gymnasium. At the end of one, the Frontier Redhawks 38 and the Athol Red Raiders 20. Second half action upcoming. This is Redhawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins and Zach Lino here at Goodno Gymnasium, along with Alec Eckel, Josh Levine, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional High School Sports, Kevin Murphy. The Frontier Redhawks lead the Alpha Raiders by a count of 38 to 20. Leading all scorers in the game so far, Marie Demond with 12 points in that first half, including two threes. Eight points each from Megan Self and Caitlin Mackin. Four each from Ina Sobieski and Kyla LaFord. And two points for Rebecca Bridwell. For the Athol Raiders, Haley Bigwood leading their team in scoring with 11 points. Five points for Gekka Baptiste. Three for Emma Bascalupa, all from the foul line. And two points for Taylor Cleveland, both from the foul line. Frontier inbounds, moving right to left to start off the second half. Starting five in there for the Hawks. In the corner it goes. Back to, uh, they feed the baseline, and it's going to be out of bounds, and we'll go the other way. Baptiste now with it. Up ahead to DeLeo, to Cleveland, back over to Baptiste cross court. Baptiste tries to feed the paint, goes off the frontier player. And the Hawks recover. Marine Demon up ahead to Mackin. Mackin to Sobieski in the paint. Sobieski blocked on the way up. Mackin gets it back. Mackin goes up strong with the left hand and hits. Kalen Mackin never gives up on those offensive rebounds. That was a great play, too, with the left hand, too. Cleveland now to Baptiste. They try to feed the paint and again a steal. Sobieski brings it up. Four Frontier stops, gets the numbers. Got to get some help. Over to Megan in the corner for three. Rims out no good. Sobieski, the rebound, goes up strong. Misses. And going up again with a rebound. <laughs> so Frontier owning the boards, and that was Marie Demon who will go to the line. That's the first foul on Sophie Putnam. Demon's first shot is good. She'll get one more. And she makes them both. Quick 4-0 run to start this second half, and it's a 22-point lead, Frontier's largest of the game. And that's Frontier just starting where they left off. Cleveland now. Pass to Baptiste, stolen by Mackin. Mackin up ahead. Up and, up and no good. She got fouled on the way up by Baptiste, who was hassling her pretty good. And Caitlin Mackin will go to the line to shoot. So Athol, no answers so far. 
to start this third quarter. Mackin's first one spins in. She will get one more. She's up to 11 now on the night. Caitlin's second shot. That one does not go. Rebound to Haley Bigwood. Bigwood runs through traffic. Goes up strong off the glass and in. Good ball player. Yeah. 43-22. 21-point frontier lead. Mackin now with it. To, on the right side, back over to Bridwell. To Sobieski on the right elbow. Back Great over to ball movement here by Frontier. Yeah, they're spinning it around pretty good. Nice pass off the side of the iron, side of the backboard rather. Frontier keeps it eight seconds on the shot clock though. Self to Sobieski, turn around, Jay does not go. Rebound Athol. Bigwood now, runs it up, one on four. Goes up strong, misses. Runs over Mackin in the prior demon in the process. Sobieski tries to go up, and she gets fouled on the way up by Baptiste. And Sobieski will go to the line. Athol gained the foul trouble here quickly. And we've racked up three fouls here to start with less than almost two minutes to go here in this third quarter. Sobieski's first shot is good. She will get one more. Second one's good. So a 7-2 run to start this third quarter for Frontier. They lead 45-22. Sobieski now with it. Sobieski back to Baptiste. They wing it around to Cleveland. Cross court to set Baptiste. Baptiste for three. Good. Nice shot there by Baptiste. And that was a three. And the lead is cut to 20. 45-25. Demon left side to Bridwell. The middle of Mackin. Mackin to Sobieski in the baseline. Off the glass. No good. Rebound Athol. Big Wood. Goes through everybody. Count it. Wow, one. that was pretty. That's Rebecca Haley Bigwood. Two points and a foul shot. That's going to be three fouls on Demon. And the first team foul of this half. Yeah. She's been doing everything here on the offensive end for Athol. Self is actually that was no, that was not on Demon. That was on Megan Self. So that's her second foul. So Self will go out. Warren will come in. And Bigwood at the line. High arcing shot. Good. She completes the three point play. Demon runs the point. He's got she's got Warren out there with her and Mackin. To Sobieski on the baseline. Cross court to Warren. Warren. Pulls up inside the arc. Go. Nice pump fake to open up the clean look. All net for Sierra. Bascalupo now with it. Hook loose. Up ahead, too far ahead though, Baptiste, and we're going the other way. I think it's a matter of speed for Athol. He's going to slow it down a little bit here. Yeah, I think that they're a little, little too far ahead of themselves, and that's part of the reason why they're trailing. Could be a lot closer game if they would just slow down a bit and set up the half court. Out of bounds, still half, uh, still frontier ball with 23 on the shot clock. It looks like Haley Bigwood got a little bit of piece of that to knock it out of bounds. LaFord in and Bridwell out for Frontier. And for Athol, DeLeo in and St. Cyr is out. Yeah, there's Bigwood again. <laughs> Knocking it out of bounds. And they get it in on the baseline to Mack, and Mackin tries to feed the paint. LaFord after it. Held ball. Possession error will favor the Athol Red Raiders. Looks like Frontier's going to run a full court press here. DeLeo throwing it in now for Athol. Gets it to Baptiste. Baptiste up ahead. To Cleveland, back over to DeLeo. They break the trap. Back to Cleveland. Cleveland with it. Tries to feed the baseline. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Mackin. 
up ahead, looking to feed. Yes, Sobieski. Kind of an errant pass, but Sobieski cleaned it up nicely. And the lead's back up to 21. Frontier's just been killing them on the interior. And on the boards. DeLeo now with it. Top of the key. Baptiste now driving on Mack and loses control. Ball hits the floor. Frontier controls it. Warren up ahead to Sobieski. Kept in, though. Mackin. Bounce pass. Put up and in by the Ford. As that ball did not have the numbers to defend that. Cleveland now. Dishes it off. Shot up is no good. Put back and a foul on Mackin as going back up for that shot was Bascalupo and she'll go to the line. Bascalupo's been on the line a couple of times tonight. She's all of her foul. All of her points have come from the foul line. That's three fouls, by the way, on Caitlin Mackin. And the second team foul on Frontier. Bascalupo's first one hits the front of the iron. No good. She'll get one more. Second shot, front of the iron, no good. So he misses them both. And the rebound, Demon up ahead to the Ford, too far ahead, and we're going back the other way. Running a full court press here, Frontier, the brand butter. Haley Big would have thrown it in to Baptiste. Up ahead to Bascalupo, back to Baptiste. Baptiste runs it right side. Spinning away from Demon, shot no good. Demon gets the rebound, gets bumped. Warren ends up with it. Warren trying to double rib a lot of trouble. Needs some help. Frontier. Look at Athol now suddenly swarming. Mackin with it now. And Mackin's going to hand it off to Demon. 16 seconds on the shot clock. LaFord with it. Top of the key to Mackin. Right side to Warren. Warren screaming for the ball. Puts it up. No good. Athol the rebound, then a foul. And they're going to get Sobieski. If that's Sobieski, that's... Nope, they're going to get Demon. That's three. That would have been say, four. Yeah. That would have been four on Amelia. There's now three Frontier players with three fouls. I would say if this were a closer game, that would be a bigger issue, but... <laughs> Not much to gripe on if you're Frontier. Cleveland throws it in. To Baptiste up ahead to Bascalupo. Bascalupo back to Baptiste. In the middle to Taylor Cleveland. Cleveland. Feeds the paint. Off the glass, Bigwood, no good. Rebound pulled down by Mack, and she spins away from containment and runs it up the floor. Caitlin, coast to coast, hacked in the act. She'll go to the line. Yeah, smart contact there on the shooting. So Caitlin Mackin, that's three fouls on Taylor Cleveland. And Mackin's first one spins out. A couple of subs coming in. Megan Self back in. Lena Mays pulling back in. And Demon and Warren will sit. Mackin's second one is good. 2.30 to go in the third quarter. 52-28. Frontier with a big lead still. Bascalupo almost dragged that pivot foot. And Cleveland now with it. Cleveland, top of the key, being guarded by Sobieski. Trying to spin away. Gets it back. Takes the shot. Front of the iron, no good. Rebound, Megan Self. Fast break time for Frontier. Megan pulls it back. It's the numbers. Up ahead. Jumper off the glass, no good. Sobieski <laughs> battling for the rebound. Sobieski tries to go up. Front, it's the front of the iron, and it's Athol Ball. Oh. Was battling there with Mack and his teammate for the rebound. Mack and Sobieski with a little bit of a duel there. Sobieski got the best of it, but could not put back the rebound. Big wood to throw in. Gets to Cleveland. Frontier has long since backed off the press. Cleveland tries to feed the baseline, and it's just over the head. Looks uh, like they don't need the press to force yeah. turnovers. That was just too far, too up 
a high for Nelson to handle it. About four feet high. Megan Self now with it, right in the point. Right side it goes. And to Sobieski, back out to Self. And jump pass through nobody, to nobody yeah. really. And Nelson comes away with it. Frontier's starting to get a little sloppy here. Self gets a hand on it, out of bounds, still half <laughs> all ball. With 22 on the shot clock, 130 on the game clock in the third. And they're going to get Bridwell back in there. Bridwell will come in and Mackin will come out. DeLeo to throw in for Athol. Looking for Bigwood. A kick, and that's going to be, should be a reset of the shot clock. Now they're going to say no kick. So they'll just do it again. That should have been a reset of the shot clock. Yeah. yeah, there we go. There you go. Looked like a kick to me, so there we go. DeLeo to throw in. Finds Nelson. Stolen. Steal. And late Mace Pullen pulls it back. Travel. And as that was Bridwell who just took the extra step. Athol inbound in front of the Frontier bench. DeLeo lobs it in. Nearly stolen. Yeah. And now Bigwood with it. Top of the key. Bigwood. Right side. Ooh, through the hands. Of Delson, nice stolen back. there by Bridwell. Bridwell with a pass out to LaFord. LaFord stops. She took an yep. extra step. Couldn't stop in time. <laughs> so a little travel lettuce out here for both of these teams. Inbound pass coming from DeLeo. Middle left in the third. Throws it in to Baptiste to Cleveland. Back to DeLeo. One minute to go in the third. DeLeo with it to Cleveland. Bigwood down, trying to drive the baseline. And out of bounds, still half all ball. Mays Pullen had her nicely blocked off on the baseline. Mays Pullen playing some nice D here on Bigwood. DeLeo to throw in to Cleveland. There's and a steal. There's a steal by Mays Pullen. Throws it back to the Ford. Kylie brings it up. Flings it up ahead to Megan. Back to the Ford. Top of the key. Sobieski got a clean it. block there. That was a clean block going through by Cleveland. So Frontier will keep it 17 on the shot clock, 28.9 on the game clock. Self to inbound for Frontier. Megan. Gets it to Amelia. Amelia takes up a wild shot. Almost went. Oh, wow. Rebound pulled down by Afa. Taylor Cleveland brings it up. Shot clock is off. 19 seconds to go in the quarter. Another steal by Elena Mace Pullen. Yeah, she's, she's really been great out there on defense. Mace Pullen to self with the baseline. The jumper spins oh. out. Put back. Doesn't go. No dice. And we've got... No, no foul. What, did they call a foul? No. Nope. Nope. Didn't look like it. We're going the other way, though. <laughs> With 3.4 seconds left. Inbound to Baptiste. Up ahead, and that's how the half, or the quarter, rather, is going to end. We played three in South Deerfield at the end of three. Frontier 52. Half all 28. Fourth quarter action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball. Frontier Community Access Television. Fourth quarter action upcoming. Frontier Red Hawks, barring a real meltdown, are going to win this game. It will look like eight minutes to play here, and they've pretty much controlled this game from the jump. Hawks with the ball. Jumper from the corner is no good. Rebound. Again, pulled down by LaFord. LaFord from the elbow. No good. Sobieski kicks it back out to Megan Self. Jumper does not go. And the rebound comes back out, and Warren comes out and gets it. Sierra now to Megan. To LaFord, or Sobieski rather. Jumper is good on the baseline. And that was Ridwell, I believe. Ridwell with it. With the bucket. Cleveland now with it for Athol. 
Rathal just looking shell-shocked here by Frontier's defense. Bounce pass on the left elbow back to Cleveland. Cleveland will jump for three, no good. And Warren will let the ball go out of bounds and Frontier will bring it back the other way. Talk about Frontier dominating the boards. Kayla Mackin's been a huge part of that with nine so far. Absolutely. Self with it. Now a little weave work here. LaFord back to Warren for three. Banks it in. What a shot by Warren. Well, when she gets a look at it, look out. Polana now with it for Athol into the game. Back to Cleveland. 57-28. Athol's found themselves in a difficult situation where they either have to guard the interior or let up open those open shots. That shot was no good. Rebound controlled by Frontier. Up ahead to Megan Self. Megan gets hacked on the way up. Hard the contact ground. on that. Oof. Roz Nelson really slammed into her. So Megan Self with a chance to make this a 30-point lead. 31 if she makes them both. It's two fouls on Nelson. First one is good. 58-28. Frontier by 30. One of the refs, John Patala, came over at the break and asked us if Frontier had lost <laughs> yeah. anybody yet. He was amazed they've lost three games, and I'm somewhat amazed as well. You never know what you're going to get in and night, night out with this Frontier team. Well, that, that showdown with Greenfield on Saturday looms large. Hopefully it will happen. There's some yeah. question about the weather coming in, but if that happens, we're going to have it, and there'll be a radio game as well, so it'll be a simulcast. And they blow Hopkins. They got a good chance against Greenfield. They, they killed Hopkins. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> even close. And 51 to 23. De defending Western Mass champions came in here late an egg, but that was because they got trapped to death by the Hawks. It's the iconic frontier defense. Sierra Warren to throw it in. Lobs it back out to Megan. Self. Pulls it back. Back to Sierra. Sierra back to Megan. Megan. Double drive through the lane. Shot doesn't go. Cleveland. State foul. Cleveland, a little bit of frustration there. It's going to be half all ball. It's going to be a foul on Frontier. It's going to be three on Megan Self. So Bieski checks out. And into the game is Abby Howard. And a little more pressure being put on in the backcourt. Up ahead Tipped. to Cleveland. Cleveland has it on the right elbow. Bounce pass, turnaround jumper off the glass, doesn't go. Battle for it, out of bounds, still half all ball. With a fresh 30. Nice defense by Cindy Taylor guarding the larger player. Megan Self is out, and Ab Marie Demond is in for Frontier. And they throw it in, jumper from the corner, hits the side of the backboard, yikes. <laughs> Not a good look by Athol. Warren now brings it up. Warren, right side. To Demond. Marie, as they work in a weave with LaFond, or LaFord rather. Back to Sierra. Demond, left side, pull up jumper, spins out. Used every inch of the rim, but wouldn't go. Cleveland the rebound. Again, we're stuck on 58 28 right now, 523 to go in the game. Pass to, to the paint. No man's land. <laughs> Nobody really there. They lob it up ahead to Sierra. Sierra fed Howard but was behind her. And they're going back the other way. And Baptiste layup. No good. Howard the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Outlet to Sierra. Everybody's getting their exercise tonight. Warren pulls it back to LaFord. LaFord hands it off to Warren. Sierra working on Baptiste. Howard flings it up off the glass, no good. And uh -oh, call what do we have here? A little bit of contact after the play. So we have two fouls on either side. Was there a technical? So it pushes. 
Either way, it's Frontier ball. It's Frontier ball. So they're offsetting fouls. Frontier gets the ball back. 4.46 to go. That's the first foul on Sydney Taylor. Just checked into the game. I don't know what the other foul was. Well, there was definitely or. some, some yeah. contact underneath the basket. Between A little shoving match. Yeah, with Taylor and Cleveland. As they work the weave again, Demon loses control, though. And Athol comes back the other way. Off the glass and in. Again, Jenna St. Cyr, her first points of the game. 58-30. Howard's jumper on the baseline is no good. And Polana brings it up for Athol. In the middle to Baptiste. Baptiste pull-up jumper partially blocked. Count and it. then count it as she got hit on the way up. It didn't look like she was going to get, didn't like the other line wow. of the basket, but it went in. So count it one for Gekka Baptiste. And that's four fouls on Demon. At this point, it's not that big of a deal, though, because no. it's, a, it's a, a large lead. It's putting it lightly. They're going to have to bring in LaFord to get Demon out of there, I think, but they're going to wait. Baptiste with the foul shot. And she converts the three-point play. 58-33, 4-12 to go. Demon with the four fouls crosses the timeline. Left side it goes to Mackin. Caitlin Mackin. Turn around jumper off the glass. No good by Taylor. Put back by Mackin. No good. Mackin gets the rebound. Kicks it back out to Sierra. Sierra gets free. Jumper. No good. Mackin the Another rebound. Another board by Mackin. Puts it back. Another board. Back out to Warren. <laughs> to Demon. Demon, pull up jumper in the lane, gets fouled on the way up. She'll get two shots, but wow. Those possessions by Frontier gave Mackin her 13th rebound. Yeah, it's crazy. The rebounding <laughs> has been unbelievable tonight by Frontier. I mean, it's just fantastic performance. And like you said, 13 boards for Mackin in this game. With 12 points, giving her a double-double. Double-double. That's right. Demon's first shot does not go. She'll get one more. LaFord, I believe, will come in for the shooter. Coming into the game now is Bridwell. Bridwell in, and Sid Taylor is out. And this Frontier team, team is uh, pretty deep. It yeah. is. It's, it's a very deep team. Yes, I agree. Second shot is good. So Demon will check out for the shooter with the four fouls. And LaFord is back in. 3.42 to go in this one. 59-33. Academic at this point. It's a question of what the margin of victory is going to be at this point. Baptiste yeah. now. Up ahead it goes. Long three hits the side oh, of the bad backboard. Miss. Yikes. And we're going back the other way. Didn't look like she had the angle, and no. hitting the side of the backboard kind of confirmed that. Like I've said all game, Athol's has been running these three-second possessions. I've been getting them bad, bad looks. Warren now bringing it up. Sierra crosses half court. Over to LaFord. LaFord to Mackin. On the right side into LaFord. LaFord on the baseline. Back out to Warren. Warren, pull up jumper. Spins out. Just off. Rebound. Rebound put back and a foul on the way up. As going to the line is going to be Abby Howard. The chance to get into the scorebook. That's the first foul on Jenna St. Cyr. First shot, front of the iron, no good. She'll get one more. Second shot does not go, but she gets her own rebound. How about that for hustle points? Mackin. Down low, kick back out. Pull up jumper is good. Nice shot there by LaFord. LaFleur with a running jumper on the baseline. Do they count that as a two, right? That was two. They feed the paint back out to Baptiste. Jumper hits the side of the iron by Polana. And we're going the other way. Looks like Athol just lost, has just lost all care. 
Sid Taylor is coming back into the game for Frontier, and she will replace Rebecca Bridwell. Got the start tonight. Did a good job. Everybody on Frontier's team, I think, yeah. played well. I mean, I can't think of any bad performances. Warren now with it. Right side to LaFord. Back in the middle to Taylor. Left side to Warren. Warren feeds the paint to Mackin. To LaFord, top of the key. LaFord bounced past the Taylor. Taylor. And they stole and They fed the paint and lost control. Athol brings it back. Good steal. And Athol's trying to get a pass. There we go to Cleveland. Cleveland back over to Bascalupo. Back to Cleveland. 10 seconds, actually 14 seconds to shoot. Stolen, stolen back by Sid Taylor. And Taylor unable to quick catch up to it. So going back the other way. 61-33, 2 2 to go in this one. St. Cyr to throw it in to Baptiste. Right side to St. Cyr. Trying to feed Cleveland on the baseline over her head. And going back the other way. Oh, and he's pulling his in. Sarah Warren is out. Mays pulling now will run the point. Actually, no, it won't. Uh, La LaFord will run the point. <laughs> Mays Paul will run the off guard. Mays pulling now with it. Left side it goes to Taylor into Mays pulling off nice the glass. Nice give and go play there. Selena Mays pulling is in the book. 30 point lead again, 138 to go in this one. Nearly stolen there by Mackin. Baptiste now runs right side, tries to feed Stolen the lane. LaFord gets it. LaFord runs it up, bumped by St. Cyr. And that's going to be a shooting situation, one and one, for Kylie LaFord. Eight points in this game, chance to make it ten if she can hit them both. Well, I'm sure the coaches for Athlon are going to have a lot to say after this game. First shot does not go. Rebound pulled down by Bascalupo. 120 to play. Bascalupo with it. Runs left side. I mean, guarded by Mackin. And they feed the paint. Stolen back by Bays Pullen. Gives her her fourth steal. She's been everywhere in the second half, and she's got another Where bucket. Put a nice spark plug off the bench. 65 33. Frontier by 32. Cleveland. Jumper. Air ball. And she stepped on the baseline. Did LaFord. 55 seconds left. So Athol will keep it. Fresh 30 on uh, 55 of the game clock. And quick substitution. Bridwell in. Mackin out. That'll be the last we see of Mackin for the game. And she registers in 14 rebounds and 12 points. Cleveland shot no good. Rebound the Ford over to Mays Pullen. Mays Pullen gets bumped by St. Cyr. And that's three quick fouls on St. Cyr. And that's going to be Mays Pullen who will go to the line for two shots. As we are now in the 10th team foul, a double bonus. Elena Mays Pullen. Four points in this half. A chance to make six if she can hit both of these. And she's had some great influence here on the defensive end. She has. This is the first. She'll get one more. Well, Frontier definitely cooled off scoring-wise in the second half, but they've done everything pretty much right tonight. They've never trailed in this game. Yeah. Second shot is no good. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. This will still be Frontier's highest scoring game this season. Ball's knocked loose, and Athol will keep it with 43.3 seconds left. 26 left on the game clock. St. Cyr inbounds, gets it back. St. Cyr gets it back on the right side. Over to Polana. Polana kicks it back out. Baptiste's shot is no good. Rebound controlled by Frontier. 27 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Frontier could dribble it out. Mace pulling now with it. And like they're still looking to score. On the baseline, turnaround jumper by Howard was no good. Rebound, Bascalupo. 12 seconds left. Bascalupo pulls it up. 10 seconds left. 
Cleveland will go for a three-pointer. Hits Trails it. it. It's a little much too late. And 65-36, that is how the game will end. So the Frontier Redhawks move to 4-3, and 2-1 and in league play. And the Alpha Red Raiders go to 5-5 five and five overall, 0-4 oh in league play. And the Frontier Redhawks uh, did everything they had to do tonight to win this game. I mean, they, they basically played not mistake-free basketball, yeah. but certainly pretty, uh, pretty close to it. Uh, the scoring was not what it could have been in the second half, but they shot the lights out in the first half, and it was good enough for a big lopsided W. And now we look ahead to that uh, showdown game this weekend, weather permitting, with the Greenfield Greenway, which is actually a game that is a, a reschedule of an earlier season mm. snow out this year. Uh, that game is going to be in this building on Saturday night. Weather and forgiving. We yeah, weather permitting. Absolutely. Uh, leading all scorers in the game was Hilly Bigwood with 16 points for Athol. Leading scorer for the Frontier Redhawks was Marie Demond. And as you mentioned, the double-double for Caitlin Mack and 12 points. And how many boards did she have? 14 rebounds. 14 rebounds. Nine points for Megan Self. Eight for Amelia Sobieski. Eight for Kylie LaFord. Five for Sierra Warren. Four for Elena Mays Pullen in the second half. And Rebecca Bridwell had four points and got the start in the game. So Frontier comes up big tonight. On their home floor, defeating the NFL Red Raiders 65-36. Zach, Lino, final thoughts? Um, NFL's going to have a lot to say after this one, but Frontier looking good coming into that game versus Greenfield. So the Hawks now look ahead to the big showdown with Greenfield coming up this weekend. We'll have that game for you. Look for it on these same stations. My broadcast partner, Zach Lino, for Alec Gecko, Josh Levine, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time. The Frontier Red Hawks 65 and the Athol Red Raiders 36. So long from Good Note Gymnasium. We'll talk to you next time on Frontier Community Access Television.